So what was your favorite segment from the past two years? I know I had the most fun when we left the confines of the studio, whether it was to ride my bike to work or take the bus. Here are some of our favorite stories. My favorite one was about the millennials. It's really restored my faith in the future generations. Um, they were most of the experts and the millennials that were interviewed. They said that their hot topics are sustainability as well as green living and community involvement. So I think those are all very important. My personal favorites are the ones dealing with what our future is with the millennials. I, I think our communities, the Evansville, Henderson, Newburgh, you know, we've done a very good job over the years of meeting the needs of, of baby boomers like myself who like, uh, we like to drive and we like space for our kids and so the good schools and good jobs and good you know it's a good place to raise a family but now the millennials think a little differently and and my two kids think differently than I do and they're not as keen about driving and they want more choices and they want to be able to a more urban environment. Also with the millennials um, they're against urban sprawl and keeping more um, more restaurants, more um, your living spaces, more uh, multi-developmental areas that are more in the city so they can walk everywhere, they can bike, they can use public transit, they don't have to own their own individual car, they can use Uber and um, also take advantage of car sharing and bike sharing as well. So um, that was probably my absolute favorite um, segment of of the shows. Well, my favorite segment still has to be the bus ride that Cass Harrington took, uh, attempting to go from Warwick County all the way downtown to the bus transfer station. Um, it took her, I think, over an hour and a half to make that journey. I began to think you could probably walk it faster. So it was revealing to me to find out just how difficult it is to take the bus. I'm a bus guy, and uh, having been involved with the, uh, the Warwick County, uh, Watt system from the beginning. Um, and I've enjoyed riding the bus and so I was really glad to see that uh, Cass was able to go out and ride the bus. And It's a social experience. Uh, people can learn a lot um, and they can give a lot. So it's a fun time while you're just traveling to wherever you have to be at low cost uh, with uh, lesser emissions. It brought home to me that Evansville and many communities just like it all across the country are going to be dependent upon personal transportation for the foreseeable future. So when we're thinking about transportation, we really are talking about you riding in your car to either go somewhere or to pick up goods and bring them back to your home. And how we can best um, mobilize ourselves, make different choices, uh, share rides, buy something that's uh, closer to you. All those individual choices are going to add up to a difference in our environment. My other favorite one was about the drones. I'm a techie person and I like to um, hear about all the new technology and I was already aware of drones for videography and um, photos. I've been to weddings where they've had drones, but um, what really got to me was the agricultural aspect of it. One thing that I didn't think of that they mentioned on about the drones is that if you have a dirty or dangerous situation, drones um, come in handy for that so you're not um, risking somebody's life going into a dangerous situation like that. Compressed natural gas, alternative fuels, when you look at something other than OPEC oil, that especially gets my attention. So what I would like to do is see us go further than where we are. This was exploratory in nature to give people a basic understanding of alternative fuels. We talked a lot about alternative transportation um, that you could take to, to do your normal trips around town or to travel. I, I especially liked our staycation um, segment. But as a result of all the discussion, I decided to take the train to Chicago instead of driving my own personal car. I had a great time and I saved a whole bunch of carbon energy doing it. So I, I've learned that um, Perhaps our comfort zone is too comfortable and that we need to take a different approach to solving our everyday transportation problems and that it can be fun too.